This species is Norway maple, Acer platinoides. It's the maple that people in Wisconsin most confuse with sugar maple, but it's not native to Wisconsin. It was actually introduced in 1756 to the United States by John Bartram, who brought seeds from London. This species being an ornamental tree planted in yards, roadsides, rural, uh, sorry, uh, suburban areas, um, has many, many different kinds of cultivars. In fact, they come in even different colors. And let's go take a closer look at one of the cultivars behind me. So here's a purple cultivar that you'll commonly see in people's yards of Norway maple. There is no native maple that has this purple color to its foliage. So let's talk about how you identify Norway maple. Well, like all maples, it has opposite simple leaves. And those leaves are lobed in a palmate fashion with palmate venation. Uh, Norway maple specifically can be identified by its rather, rather large leaves that have a very long petiole often. And the seed that is larger than most of our native maples that is widely flared. This is a paired Samara fruit type, widely flared out with the seeds themselves being somewhat flattened. So that is a really nice distinguishing characteristic of Norway maple. If you don't have the seeds on the tree, there are a couple of ways to tell by the foliage and also by the bark. The um, leaves are sort of uh, gently or um, softly lobed with sort of a U-shaped sinus. But if you look at the tips of the lobes, they're acuminate. They're very long and pointed. Sugar maple will not have such long uh, pointed leaf tips, which um, gives the Norway maple sort of almost a starburst pattern. Okay. The other way you can tell it from sugar maple is that there is a milky sap in the tree, especially in spring and summer. It may disappear in fall, but um, I'll show you that. I'll take a closer look. So here's what that milky sap looks like. I just tore off a leaf. And if you squeeze a little bit at the base of the petiole, you'll see this white exudate coming out of the, of, the, of the plant. The sugar maple does not have this milky sap in it. So that makes it a really nice trait for telling Norway maple. So let's just take a closer look at the Norway maple's bark. So you can distinguish Norway maple from sugar maple here in Wisconsin also by the bark. Norway maple has a much more uniform, tightly woven bark, whereas sugar maple has an uneven bark with different widths, kind of a messy looking bark. That's probably one of the reasons why Norway maple is favored in suburban plantings. So here we have the Norway maple, a nice tree to produce lots of shade in suburban areas and yards. We have to keep an eye on it though because it may be naturalizing in Wisconsin's forests.